Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the Cocos 2DX C++ version 3 tutorial series. Really excited that version 3 has now been released. So we're going to have a nice huge tutorial series on C++. And in this tutorial we're going to show you how to set up for iOS and create a new project. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the internet and just go to cocos2dx.org. There'll be a link in the description. Then you just want to go to downloads. Then you want to download Cocos 2DX version 3.0, that's the one we'll be dealing with. I've already got it downloaded, so we can just go directly to there. I put it in my application development folder, you can put it wherever you want. Here it is, and next thing you want to do is unpack it. You can do that by just double clicking it. Now that's done, what we want to do is open up a terminal and we want to change directory to our Cocos2DX directory. So we type it cd space, drag the Cocos2DX onto it, click enter. We want to run this command setup.py. It's a Python command, so you do Python dot forward slash setup.py, setup click enter. And there's a few things that it's added a Cocos console root and it's asking for an NDK root that won't be covered in this tutorial because that's to do with Android. But the next tutorial is how to set up a new project for Android. So don't worry if you want to set up for Android, you can look at that in the next tutorial. Android SDK root again, we can skip and root, we can also skip. So just click enter and to make sure that these um, variables are in effect, you just type in source forward slash users, basically it's right here where you have to type in and for me it's sonar system, that's my username forward slash dot bash underscore profile click enter and the easy way to find out that it's all good if you click the setup py again it says the con cocos console route had been found instead of being added and obviously the other ones haven't been found because we never added them okay so the next step is to do cocos space new then the name of your game or project whatever you want to call it I'm just going to call it tutorial v3 cpp then space dash p now you put your package name I'm going to put learning dot sonar systems dot tutorial v3 cpp then you put dash l which is language you can either put Lua for Lua or CPP for C++, we're going to put CPP because that's what we're doing, C++. Then you can do an optional parameter of dash D and if you don't put dash D which is directory, it will just save it in the tools cocos 2 dx bin folder because that's where the cocos command is or you can save it where you want to and I'm just going to put it on the desktop. So to just get to the desktop directory, I'm just going to go go, computer, Macintosh HD, users, my username, then I'm just going to drag and drop the desktop onto here. So if we click enter now, it's just creating a new project and now there we go, we've got a new project. So if we just put this aside, open up our folder, we've got a bunch of folders. We've also got a Cocos 2D folder, it's basically copied the libraries into it so you can move this wherever you want, which is fantastic. Let's open up the EXO project and now what we're going to do, we're just simply going to run it going to run it in a simulator, if you've got an iOS device and a provisioning profile then that's great, it's even better, you can run it on there if not, don't worry, the simulator is pretty good That's it, it's that simple to generate a new project and get it running in Xcode for iOS. In the next tutorial, as we mentioned before, we're going to look at setting up literally the same process as this, but just to get it done for Android on a Mac. And if you're on Windows, the first tutorial will cover setting up for Android and on a Windows machine. 
there'll be no source code needed and we'll be providing no source code for this tutorial and all the setting up tutorials but the tutorials after that where we're actually looking at some code in maybe sprites and whatnot we will provide source code and base code if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk or just directly message us on youtube but our email will be in the description and as usual thanks for watching